All right, so today we're going to be looking at the kinetic energy equation. So really the basic equation we're using here, uh, kinetic energy is equal to one half times the mass um, times the velocity or speed squared. Um, keep in mind only the velocity is being squared here. Um, so where this becomes useful is, let's talk about baseball a little bit here. Let's say that a baseball, and I'm making this number up here, has a mass of 0 0.3 kilograms. And it's thrown, doesn't matter what direction it's thrown, up, down, left, right, doesn't matter. Um, it's thrown with a velocity, uh, we'll say, 3 meters per second. All right. I want to know how much kinetic energy this object has. Um, kinetic energy, kinetic means moving. Kinetic energy is the energy an object with mass moving has. Um, and we're able to calculate it really easy here. Uh, so if I want to know the kinetic energy, so once again, it's one half mv squared. So in this case, one half is 0 0.5. The mass we said was 0 0.3 kilograms. And the velocity we said was three meters per second. And I need to square that. All right, so um, keep in mind velocity, like I, I said it was positive and I put it in the direction where we typically call it positive um, to the right there. Because we're squaring the velocity, it doesn't matter what sign our velocity has. Once you square it, it becomes positive. Your kinetic energy is always positive. You can't have negative kinetic energy, which is where it becomes really useful when looking at things like work, which can be negative. Um, all right, so uh, kinetic energy, we said 0.5 times 0.3 times 3 squared. Uh, I'm going to take care of this part right away. Um, 3 meters per second squared is actually 9. We square the 3 becomes 9. Square the meters, we get meters squared. Square the seconds, we get seconds squared. Okay, so 0 0.5 times 0 0.3 times 9. All right, so let me get out my trusty calculator here. All right, so we have 0 0.5 times 0 0.3 times 9. Looks like we're going to have a kinetic energy of 1.35 joules. Um, co or we have 1.35 kilogram meter squared per second squared. Kilograms on top, meter squared on top, second squared on the bottom. Um, and really, this kind of goes back to the definition of work and the definition of kinetic energy. Uh, Part of it is work is a transfer of kinetic energy or work is a change in kinetic energy. And find work, we took force times distance or we took mass times acceleration times distance. And so we add meters times meters per second squared times uh, distance was in meters. Oh, mass is in meters, duh, that's in kilograms, all right. And doing it this way, we still end up with kilograms meter squared per second squared. So our unit for work, unit for kinetic energy, we end up with the same units. They're both joules. In fact, that's one of the ways we can check to make sure we did it right, is did we get kind of this kilogram meter squared per second squared? Where the kinetic energy part becomes a little bit just slightly trickier Let me rewrite there. Let's say that baseball. Let's give it some stitching. It still is 0 0.3 kilogram baseball. Let's say in this case, I don't know how fast it's going, um, but I'm using a device that can measure kinetic energy. And we find that it has a kinetic energy of, let's say, 1,000 joules. Um, which is quite a bit, um, you know, compared to some foods and stuff, it's not that bad. Um, but in this case, I want to know what my velocity is. So in this case, kinetic energy equals one half mv squared. I'm actually going to solve this one algebraically before I start plugging numbers in. So I'm looking for v. So my first thing is I need to get v squared by itself. To do that, I need to essentially divide both sides by one half times mass. Uh, keep in mind for this equation to work, kinetic energy is always in joules, mass is always in kilograms, 
your velocity will oh will have to be in meters per second. Okay. Um, if you give you something else, you have to convert essentially to these three things. All right. So back to this. So v squared is equal to kinetic energy over one half mass, or divided by the half by one half is the same as times by two. Two times kinetic energy over mass. Now keep in mind that's v squared, so to get v by itself, we have to take the square root. So velocity is equal to square root, two times kinetic energy. Let's pop that in parentheses, divided by the mass. All right, now I can plug some numbers in. I'm going to take the square root of two times, we said kinetic energy was 1,000 joules, divided by the mass we said was 0 0.3 kilograms. Uh, some of this math that I can do off the top of my head, so I'm taking the square root of 2,000 all over 0 0.3 kilograms. All right, so let's get that calculator back up. Nope, that's not what I wanted. There we go. So we got 2,000 divided by 0.3. So we're looking at 6,666. Uh, but I need to take the square root of that, so let's hit the square root button. And it looks like I get 81.6. Sounds good. We're going to call that meters per second. Okay. So 81.6 meters per second, that ball is flying. Um, yeah, I mean, that thing is moving super, super fast, well, which is kind of cool. Um, just because it's so light, even though it has this much energy, like it's it's booking it. Uh, anyway, that's really how we use the equation, whether it's to find kinetic energy, um, to find velocity, or to find mass. Essentially, I really like this equation um, simply because it uses the best of kind of basic algebra. Um, thank you, Flipboard. Um, which I think is really cool. So with that, good luck with the practice.